Our first week of fasting is almost over as we begin day six of our Daniel fast. Today, we're reading from Luke 4, verse 42. And it says, At daybreak, Jesus went out to a solitary place. The people were looking for him, and when they came to where he was, they tried to keep him from leaving them. The hardest decisions to make are usually not between what is good and bad. Usually the most difficult decisions are between what is good, better, and best. It is so important to be able to clearly hear the voice of God when facing important decisions. Jesus regularly disconnected from the world to hear the voice of God. This awakening season is all about disconnecting from the world so that we can hear the voice of God more clearly. All sorts of things will try to crowd God out of your life. Even Jesus faced pressures from the crowds, and he had to choose between doing good and doing God's will. The crowds constantly tugged on him, asking Jesus, please heal me, do another miracle. And what might have happened if Jesus had just listened to the voices of the crowds instead of listening to the voice of God? He would have settled for a very good cause, healing people. But then he would have missed his primary purpose, which was to preach the kingdom of God to the lost humanity. Jesus knew that was so much need everywhere, he had to hear the voice of his Father, or he would have mistakenly chosen what's good instead of what's God. And that's exactly what is going to happen in our lives if we're not tuned into God and focused on hearing his voice over the voice of the crowd. The voice of the crowd cannot answer the question, why are we here? When you hear the voice of God, you begin to understand his purpose for you and what he has designed you to do. It is in this moment that you can prioritize your life around that purpose. This is how you experience true freedom, and this freedom will uncomplicate your life. Once you begin to realize God's purpose for your life, you start to understand something foundational about yourself. You're not here on earth to simply exist. You were sent with a purpose, and your whole life begins to change when you understand that you were sent here by God for that purpose. I don't know your specific assignment in regards to your career, relationships, or other matters, but I do know that we are all called to be witnesses for Jesus Christ. And I want to challenge you to look at the normal activities of your everyday life and see them as opportunities to be a witness for Jesus. During your fast, look for ways to serve and encourage others at work, at home, in your neighborhood, and even at church.